This comparison of simulated and measured insertion loss on a range of different copper roughnesses on transmission lines uses the preview version of the new Polar LA9000 S parameter analysis tool. I'll show you how this works by setting up a suite of models in the SI9000 and then exporting them as a batch into the LA9000 and finally overlaying a measured source of S parameters from a touchstone file on top of the modeling information. LA9000 can be used with any S parameter source that generates a touchstone file. So you can compare one VNA with another or TDR derived um, S parameter results or between one modeling tool and another. But it works best when you drive it from the projects facility in the SI9000. The LA9000 can compare S parameters from any source. But to set this up easily, I'm going to create a suite of S parameters from a number of structures that have got the same geometrical dimensions, but five different roughnesses and also contrast that with smooth copper, I'll export all of the S21 results from those five structures into the LA9000. And then to finish the example, I'll show you how it compares with some measurements that we've made on a 20 gigahertz VNA. So first I've opened a project and the project contains smooth copper, a prediction of one, two, three, four, and five microns of RZ. And I'll now press the export to LA9000 control. Now the SI9000 will field solve each structure in turn. And when it's completed solving those five structures or six structures altogether, including the smooth copper one, it then launches the LA9000. And I'll just bring that onto screen for you. So here you can see in increasing roughness, smooth, one, two, three, four, five microns. And I've color coded the graph here so that you can see from smooth copper through to rougher copper in increasing levels of um, darkness in the trace. Let's have a look how this compares with a measured result. I can open an S2P touchstone file from any source. In this case, here's a, a 10 inch measurement of a 10 inch trace. Uh, on on a VNA, open that, and here you can see that the VNA is laid on top of the um, of the model data. You can see it lines up with the roughly the 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 one uh, the, the between the one and the two micron measurement. So that's a very quick example of how the LA9000 can be used to compare a suite of model results with the measured result. You can use it equally well to compare models with models or measured with measured. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to the LA9000 and the way you can use it for comparing measured and modeled insertion loss, and also the way you can use it for comparing S parameters from multiple sources. If you'd like to try a preview of the LA9000 for yourself, please contact your local Polar office and you'll find the contact details on the following slide.